my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I create my MAC face charts. These are just a few that I've created in the past few months. I feel that my talent has grown over the past few years. I will link my old MAC face charts videos above so you can see how I used to do my face charts. But there is also a video on how to print out your own face charts because it is difficult to get your hands on the real thing. So de definitely make sure to go and check that out. So what I've learned from doing these face charts over the past couple of months and really getting into them is that starting with pencil is like a lifesaver. Not kidding. So what I do is I take my face chart and I kind of just draw out what I want my face to look like. So I sketch out the lips a little bit, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, and any other kind of details that I want to add to my face chart. I don't usually, I usually, actually I lied, I lied, I lied. I usually have an idea of kind of what I want my face chart to look like, but I definitely don't know what the final piece is gonna look like. I kind of just jump right into it, but I, I kind of just tell myself, well, I want a cut crease and I want the lips to be really juicy and I want my eyeballs to be gigantic. So you'll see that I kind of use the basic face chart as kind of like a guide to really show me what I want to accentuate and all that other fun stuff. Then I move on to the base of the face chart. You always want to start out with a white eyeshadow or a white powder all over the entire face chart. This is gonna set a smooth base and kind of fill in a few of those holes you'll see in this special type of paper. And also it helps with blending as well. I went on and I started off with the eyes. I decided to make a cut crease for this video, kind of like a new version of my old Marilyn Monroe inspired face chart. Oh my god, the difference between the old and the new one is crazy. Oh my god. So I'm going to start out with just a cream shadow on the base of the eye. You'll see me erase this later to make the cut crease nice and perfected. Then I took a black eyeliner pencil right on the crease of the eye and I just blended it out with a really small brush. I went in and out of black shadow and brown shadows to really blend this out. It's the same thing as working on a face except this is um, 1D, 2D, I don't know, and your face is like 5D. I, I don't know, but I just kind of went in and out of brown shadows and black shadows and kept blending it out really, really well. You want to use a really small brush when working with a face chart because you want everything to be really precise in the area that you're working in. So I went ahead and made this smoky cut crease more angle angular at the corners and then I went in with my pencil and erased the cream shadow on the lid to perfect that cut crease like I said I was going to do. So you definitely want to make sure to know that when erasing things on a face chart, the only things that you can erase are powders, eyeshadows, pencil, anything like that. But if you try to erase like a lipstick or a eyeliner or anything along those lines, it's going to smudge, get all over the eraser, and get all over your paper. And we do not want that. Also, as you see, I'm also going to be using a brush throughout this process. I've been trying to teach myself to use a brush to brush off any excess powders or eraser erasers on my paper rather than blowing because if you blow, sometimes you can actually spit on the paper and yeah, you don't want to get this paper wet. Yeah, don't do that. So I went in, went ahead and added that cream shadow back onto my lid. I then went to eyeliner. I'm just using a regular liquid eyeliner and I'm lining the under part of my eyes and winging it out and then I'm going to go onto the top of my eye and connect the top and the bottom liner. I honestly think that the liner is probably the easiest part of this whole entire face chart tutorial. Not kidding. I then took some black shadow to transition that out and then the same brown shadow that I transitioned the top of the eye out as well. And you'll see I blow off the powder and then just kind of wipe it a little bit with a clean duo fiber brush. For the eyes, I was having difficulty trying to get these eyes nice dark like a dark blue. So you'll see I go back and forth with shadows, pencil, I outlined it with a sharpie pen so that the eyes would kind of come out a little bit more and then I went in with some markers because I wanted these eyes to really stand out. It's okay to use colored pencils and markers, you don't have to just use 
makeup for this face chart. You can use whatever. So then I went into my whiteout. Liquid whiteout is God's gift to face charts. Like it is amazing. You need to get liquid whiteout if you want your face charts to look very prominent and like stand out a lot. So I use this whiteout to line the waterline and also give the eyes a little bit of that cartoony feel. Then I'm gonna move on to the face. I kept the face really simple. Um, for a lot of MAC face charts, a lot of people just color in the whole face, but I kinda like to keep the focus on the lips and the eyes. So all I do is very um, lightly dust the entire face with some contouring. So I'll take just a skin colored shadow or a skin colored powder, whether that's a dark powder, light powder, doesn't matter. Remember that you're working with a white piece of paper and whatever color you use is gonna come out probably double times, twice as dark as it probably would on skin. So I went ahead and contoured out the nose and the cheeks a little bit and then also the cupid's bow. I love contouring out the cupid's bow. It looks so much better and makes the lips really pop. So I went ahead and contoured the nose as you can see and the cupid's bow. I put a little bit of contour on the chin as well to kind of make the lips look like they're protruding out. And then I just used some eraser marks to um, give it some more dimension. So you'll see I did a little bit of that on the nose. And then I like to erase around the face too. It makes it also protrude out and look a little more 3D and very cleaned up. So now I'm gonna move on to the lashes. So I have a blank, brand new face chart that I use to practice my lashes. Lashes are definitely the hardest part of face charts. Let me tell you, it took me years to figure out how to really perfect the lashes. And I guess what I learned is that you really just have to jump into it and just do it. You can't be afraid. So the way that lashes work is they're not straight. They're almost like curved out to the side, almost like a Nike check mark in a way and you wanna make them look 3D. So on the sides of the eye, you want the lashes to go out to the right and out to the left. And then once you reach the middle, you kinda of wanna do both. That's what's gonna make them look a little more 3D on the paper. So I practice with pencil first, and then I move on to my liquid eyeliner. I've been using my Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Liner, which is also kinda of like the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner as well. It has a really, really thin, thin point to it, so you can make those lashes look much more realistic. So same thing on my actual face chart. I will go in with pencil first, and then I will go in with the liquid eyeliner. A lot of people don't like to do this because they feel like you know you can't erase the pencil, which you can't because then you'll kind of ruin your face chart. But I like to do it because it kind of still gives the liner a little bit more dimension. So then I go in with my liquid liner. So once the lashes are done and I'm a little bit more stress-free about my face chart and I didn't screw up my face chart, I move on to my lips. I'm lining my lips with a lip liner and as you can see, it came out a little bumpy. So I take a very small makeup brush and I just brush and blend that out. Then I take a cream liquid lipstick and I'm just going to blend that in, same brush, and I'm gonna twist my paper around. Remember, you don't have to keep the paper straight up and down. You can move it all around, whichever's better to give you more focus and attention to wherever you're working on. I added a little bit more of the lipstick and I think I also went back into some red shadow too, just to blend it out and kind of give those lips that ombre effect. And I used my trusty old whiteout, duh. <laughs> Lastly, moving on to the brows, I just used a brow pencil to give my brows on my face chart a little bit more dimension, and then I went in with a cream brow gel and just shaped them out. I never really like the way that I do my brows on my face charts, so I just kept them really simple and very like penciled in looking, and that was my lady. That's how my lady wore it, looked. And then I add a few details to my face chart to make it look a little bit more like a person. I added a little beauty mark right there on the cheek and my face chart needed a little more blush so we added some of that too. And that is it guys for how I do my face charts. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you liked it and you want to see more face chart creations. Bye! Thank you for watching! <laughs>
Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I repaint and reshape my nails. So, let's get right into it. 